In today's video, we are going to compare three outboard engines. There's the Mariner two and a half four stroke traditional petrol outboard. There's a Minn Kota Enduramax uh, 55 electric outboard or trolling motor. And there's the Torquedo Travel 1103, the latest electric propulsion system with an integrated battery. And we're going to compare all three models and take them out onto the water uh, on a dinghy and, and do some real world um, comparisons. We're not going to do any bollard testing or anything like that. It's going to be two men in a dinghy and just see how these push us along against the tide on the rip handle. Okay, so we're just going to go through some of the key features of each outboard and we'll start with the Mariner 2.5. This is a four stroke petrol outboard. It's got an internal 0.95 litre fuel tank. It's pull start, there's a kill cord, so you attach that to yourself, so if you fall out it will kill the engine. There's a manual choke, twist grip throttle, and on the side there's forward and neutral gear positions. Now if you want to put it in reverse, you just spin it 180 degrees, and there's your reverse. The unit is 17 kilos dry weight, so with a fuel tank it's just shy of 18 kilos. Uh, and it's got a exhaust port just underneath the cavitation plate, which will be under the water, so it's fairly quiet. Um, the warranty on this unit is five years, so it's got a five year non-declining warranty, as long as you have it serviced uh, at its uh, service periods. Okay, so on to one of the first um, electric outboards. This is the Minn Kota Endura Max. Um, electric outboard. Uh, it's a 55 pounds uh, thrust outboard, which is very difficult to actually uh, correlate it to horsepower, but it's roughly around a horsepower uh, equivalent to a four stroke outboard. Not that you can get four stroke outboard with one horsepower, but that's the sort of power output you, you get from this. It doesn't have an internal battery, you have to connect it up to an external battery, so a lead acid or uh, even better, a um, a lithium ion battery, lightweight lithium ion battery, so you can connect it up to that. The Endura Max range has a digital optimizer built in, which means that you can get up to five times the range of a standard electric outboard um, because it's, it's got a clever system there, it doesn't dump all the uh, excess power, which gives you um, at lower throttles about up to five times the range of a standard. Um, Weighs in at 13 kilos, has a two year yeah, warranty. Um, it's got a um, pull out telescopic so. throttle, uh, so twist forward and reverse. And um, prim primarily designed as a fresh water trolling motor, um, but you can use them in salt water as long as you wash them off. There is a version of this called the Riptide, which is specifically designed for salt water with sacrificial anodes um, and uh, uh, multi-coat paint that, uh, that will last the time against the salt water. But um, quite often you'll see people using these uh, and they take care of them and wash them after. So uh, that is the Endura, Endura Max. So this is the Torquedo Travel 1103. This is a recent uh, addition to the travel range. Uh, and this motor has an output power equivalent of a three horsepower petrol engine. Um, it's got an integrated 915 watt hour battery. Um, it's got a uh, GPS built into the battery. So it can, on the display, it can show you range, it can show you speed over ground, um, battery status, all that sort of thing on the display. It's got a magnetic kill switch. And it's easy to assemble. It comes in. At 17 kilos, so it's the same sort of weight as a four stroke two and a half, but you can actually carry it in two sections. So you, one person could be carrying the battery, the other person could be carrying the actual outboard leg. Um, it's direct drive, it's very, very quiet, plenty of torque there, and um, you can range wise, if you're on full throttle, you might get 50 minutes out of it, which isn't too bad on full throttle. Half throttle, you're getting about five hours, and at low speeds, you can get up to 20 hours. And you can actually get up to about 20 nautical miles uh, out of this on, on a single charge. Now, it's a lithium ion battery, 
Um, you can charge it from, you, you get a mains charger, but you can charge it from solar power, even if you're going along. So any DC voltage from nine to 50 volts will charge this because it's got a, a built-in battery management system. It can um, take the DC voltage and then uh, uh, charge the internal batteries at the right voltage. So it's um, very flexible in that way. Um, fully waterproof when all the cables are plugged in, so IPX7 waterproof. Uh, and now we're going to take these three outboards out onto the water and show you how they perform. Okay, so we're going to connect up to uh, the dinghy. Now on the dinghy, this is a common type of valve. You've got to make sure that the valve is in its closed position. Otherwise, when you take the pump off, all the air will uh, expel. So it's a push and twist to lock the pump, uh, the hose into the valve. And you press the on button. And I don't know if you can see this, but on the digital display, you can set the pressure. So we're gonna set the tubes for about three PSI. So it's set to three PSI and Now it starts pumping. So it's got to its pressure, the pump is cut off automatically. We're just going to swap over to a different valve. Now, last one is the air deck. Now the air deck has to go to a much higher PSI, not higher pressure. So we change the pressure. I'll go up to 10 PSI. And we're done. Okay, we're set up on the water on the river handle. The tide's flooding in. Uh, we're about half tide, so there's a bit of flow. Um, we've got a 75 amp hour battery, and we've got the Enduramax on the back of the, the boat. Now, obviously, we're in, uh, in neutral here, so we've got no, uh, no propulsion, and we're flowing against the current. You see the current on the bridge there? It's a fair flow of current. There's two of us on board, and um, and I'll just put it in forward propulsion. And we're now going on a 2.6 meter air deck dinghy against the tide. Making good ground against the tide. And now we're in the middle channel, and I'm going to check my speed using my Navionics app. And the speed is 2.1 knots. So we're against the tide with the Minkota Enduramax full throttle at 2.1 knots. Now I'm just throttling down to half throttle. And we're still pushing at a decent speed, 1.8 knots. Completely silent propulsion. So that's at 100%. Six knots against the tide, speed over ground. 
it's not too bad at all. Now on top of the uh, Kota, on the Enduramax, there is a battery test button. So you can see where you are and your state of charge. So if you're slightly worried about your state of charge, you can check at any time by pressing this button to see how your battery's charged. So now we're going with the tide, uh, full 100% throttle, and we're looking at 3.4 knots. 3.7 knots and then I'll go down to 50% 2.9 knots and it's really at the lower powers on this with the Enduramax range that you benefit from the digital optimizer so if you're running down at below sort of 50% like this this is where it could last up to five times as long as a standard um, electric airboard so as the Torquedo travel is a modular system, so you've got the leg, the tiller arm and the battery, it's quite easy to uh, install on the boat as separate items. So um, we'll just put the leg on. Then the next part is the tiller arm, which simply slots in. And then the battery, again, easily slots in. And there's a battery locking pin. So that locking pin locks the battery in place, and you've got the carry handle there. And then connect up that's to the motor and this goes to the tiller arm. Now there are four trim positions on this motor much like uh, the Mariner we'll look at in, a, in, a, in the next bit. There are four trim positions so you can alter the trim position uh, and there's a trim lever on the side here, uh, so it lifts the bar, and then there's four positions. So there's a shallow water and three positions further, further down. And this is your lift mechanism. You lift up to lift the hull out and tilt it out of the water. So let's get back out there and see how this one performs. So the Torquedo comes with a magnetic kill switch. Uh, so it sits on this little spot there and you attach it to yourself either to your around your wrist or life or around a loop on your life jacket and then there's an on button you press there's a display you probably can't see but a display shows that you're on we've got a hundred percent battery status so the battery's fully charged uh, and now we're ready to go so we're under the same bridge and the tide's still ripping in um, we've got a good tidal flow as you can see where we're traveling uh, drifting backwards with the tide so I'm just going to get a torpedo and immediately you feel there's plenty of grunt there um, and it shows you the current consumption, your range based on uh, the current throttle position, uh, battery status there. There's also an audible alarm on here so if you do get low on battery there's an audible alarm that goes off just to let you know that the battery is low. So let's now open it up. That's full throttle and there's plenty of power there. We're running along against the tide at 3.5 knots. Plenty of grunt. Um, throttle back. I'm at 50% throttle now and we're still three knots. So more grunt than the than the Minkota, but um, 
completely silent car. Um, yeah, there's certainly much more grunt than the Minkota, but it's, um, you know, it's, you can certainly tell the difference between the two engines. Okay, so on the very low cross here, we're totaling on, we're doing 2.6 knots. And from the display I can see we're, uh, we've got a range of 20 kilometres. Uh, and uh, the power we're using at the moment is 16, 16 watts. Um, and we've still got 100% battery status. So everything is there to show you, or give you peace of mind that you're not going to run out of, uh, out of power basically. As I said in, inside the store, you can connect a solar power charger, uh, solar power uh, panel directly to this and charge as you're underway, so it will charge the battery as you're uh, underway. You can also have a uh, 12 volt cable, so when you're on the, on the boat, you charge from your uh, boat's 12 volt system uh, and it comes with a plug in mains charger, so there's plenty of options for charging. Decent range, no emissions. No villages that are possible, um, just a nice, quiet propulsion. So, full throttle with the tide, we're looking at 4.6 knots. I mean, it's probably the speed of the boat that you think will be quite heavy uh, at the moment. Um, my colleague's going to get very wet because the power waves are coming over the bus. Okay, to start the, uh, the outboard, there's a few things you've, you've got to do. Um, first of all, on the petrol tank, there's a breather uh, kind of screw. So you undo that a few, that lets air into the tank, letting the petrol back through to the carburetor. Next, you turn on the fuel tap, make sure it's in neutral, kill cord, and then choke, and you put it to the start position on the twist throttle and away you go and always check check the tail tail coming out and so you know the water pump is pumping the water So attaching the kill cord to my life jacket. Taking into forward gear. And we're away. Okay, we're back under the bridge again. Uh, about 10 minutes after we took the last, uh, the last shoot. Uh, and the tide's still ripping out. Not quite as fast, but it's still ripping out. Uh, so we're just going to see how we can push along with the two and a half. Instantaneous power. There's plenty of power from uh, this little two and a half. There is more noise. Obviously, it's uh, four straight petrol, so there's more noise. But I uh, can't smell any any emissions as such. There is a whole bunch of power there, and it's only a two and a half horsepower. So let's just do a quick speed test uh, using the Navionics app. Still going against the tide. Albeit, you know, to be fair, the tide's dropped off a little bit. It's uh, still flowing, but uh, let's just do a speed test. So not that same as a torpedo, a lot more noise, but it, it just has that grunt 
at all. You can just, you've got grunts on tap, you know you've got plenty on tap. Just a tick over speed, we're still pushing along at uh, two and a half knots. Nice and fairly quiet, um, obviously not as quiet as an electric motor, but we're pushing along. And then plenty on tap. Okay, so we've tested three engines today. Um, conclusions of the test, very impressed with the, the, the performance from the Minn Kota, way beyond what I expected against the tide. Um, clear that the Torquedo's got way more grunt than the, uh, than the Minn Kota, but, uh, and clean, and it's lovely to have silent propulsion. Um, the, I mean, the, the Mariner, there's no sort of substitute for pure grunt, four stroke grunt. You can feel that there's plenty of response all the way through the proper range. Um, but there's a place for all three. Um, it's, it really depends down to the user. I, I must admit, I've, I've been more than happy with all performance from all three. Um, just take your pick.